Bible says to be a good person. What scripture is that? You can't just read one sentence. And what scripture is that? Give me Isaiah 28. You can't just read one Isaiah sentence and say Israel is a being. I'm going to show you. You're not speaking this the This is the book of Isaiah, Isaiah. Isaiah. chapter 28, verse number 9. Bring Bring it out. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom I shall he make to understand way. doctrine? Whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Read. Them that are weaned from the milk. Have you been weaned from the milk? No. Read. And drawn from the breast. Have you been drawn from the breast? No. Read. Okay, okay, For precept okay, okay, must be okay. upon precept. No, you can't just pick a line. Okay, For precept must right, be right, upon precept. Read. Read. Precept upon oh, precept. Read. Line upon line. Read. Line upon line. Read. Here a little. Here a little. And there a little. And there a little. Didn't I just go here a little and there a little? Uh, Didn't right. Christ do that when you go into Luke the fourth? Didn't Christ do that in Luke four? It's a right? Bible. Luke four. It started at fourteen. It's man. not a verse. It's a Bible. Hang out Exodus twenty-eight. You know what today is? What's today? Today's what? July second. What day? Saturday. Saturday, right? What is important about Saturday, brother? It's the Sabbath. It's the Sabbath. So you know it's the Sabbath, Sabbath, right? Well, let's get it out the law. Bring that up. This is Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring, Bring it out. out. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What did the Lord say? Remember, Remember the, the Sabbath, Sabbath day to, to keep, keep it holy. You got to keep the Sabbath day separate, brother. True. What are you out here doing on the Sabbath day? You're right, you're right. Right? <laughs> keep reading. Get Nehemiah right. 10 and 31. Bring that up. Six days shall thou labor six. and do all thy work. So six days you have to labor and do whatever you want to do, brother. Right? You could have did whatever you're doing today. From Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, all the way up, brother, to Friday sundown. You had six days, brother. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Right. In it thou shalt not do any work. You can't do any work, read. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy, thy maid servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that's within thy gates. So you can't do no work on this happen, brother. Watch this. And with the wisdom of the scriptures, right? When you when you you can't do work, you can't add sin to sin. Meaning you can't go out here and buy from somebody that's doing work. Right? So with the wisdom that we get through the scriptures, we understand that we can't be out here buying and selling because that's work. And if you're buying, somebody has to be doing what in order to sell to you? Work. So you're helping them break the Lord's Sabbath. Watch this. Bring that up. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse number 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring where of any victuals right. on the Sabbath day to sell. So if they bring anything on the Sabbath day to sell, read. That we would not buy it. We would what? Yeah. That we, we would, would not buy, buy it. it. So brother, are you out here buying and selling, brother? I sell it. Huh? I sell it. I'm buying, right? So finish that. That we that we would not buy of them on the Sabbath. It almost nine and ten. Or on the holy day. So you can't buy on the Lord's Sabbath days, brother. Right? Because when you read Leviticus, the 23rd chapter, the Lord has a list of Sabbath days that you have to right. keep. Right? And you can't buy and sell on them, brother. So if you know you're an Israelite, you got to fear the Lord. You got to fear that if you out here breaking the Sabbath perpetually, he's going to eventually catch up with you, brother. He's going to destroy you. Get Amos 9 and verse 10. Right? Start at verse 9. There's more on that? Yeah. Finish that off. And that we will leave the seventh year and the exaction of every debt. Right. So, brother, you know, you can't be out here breaking the Sabbath. That's right? right. Point blank period. That's the commandment of the Lord. You know you're an Israelite, so you, you know, our whole lives we've been taught lies, brother. So now it's time to come back to the Lord and repent, right? And live righteously in the sight of the Lord. So that That's Lord, right. you can be saved out of this place before it's destroyed, man. Right? Bring that out. Watch this, brother. This is Amos chapter 9 and verse 10. Bring it out. Start at 9. Verse 9. Bring it out. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Right, because we were scattered amongst all nations. When you read Nehemiah 1 and 8, Deuteronomy 4 and 27, right, and various other precepts. We were scattered via the, the, the diaspora, the different slave trade, sub-Saharan, transatlantic, Silk Road. We were scattered. So the Lord said he's going to sift us among all the nations. We white as corn is sifted in a seed. Right, so when you see that big machine kind of chopping down the corn and, and it's kind of going into the barrel, that's how the Lord is going to do his people in these last days, read. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Right, and every man's gonna get judged according to his works, read. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. What did the Lord say? All, All the, the sinners, sinners of, of my people, people shall die, die by the sword. sword. Right, brother, so do you know what sin is? The Lord said all the sinners of his people are gonna die by the sword. You know what sin is? Yeah. What's sin? Breaking God's commandment. Breaking That's God's right. commandment. Right. So isn't a commandment to keep the Sabbath day? True. So what's the penalty for breaking the Sabbath day? You're going to die by the sword, brother. Do you want to die by the sword? Nah, man. All right, brother. So you got to repent, brother. You know how to repent? Nah. 
you know how to repent. Well, we're going to teach you how to repent, brother, because it's important in these last days. That's right. right? You got some of the milk, right? You know you're an Israelite, right? You know you got to keep the commandments, right? Um, I don't know if you know all the commandments, but we're going to give you some more commandments, and I'm going to teach you how to repent, all right, okay? All right. Hey, um, let's get some commandments, man. Get Leviticus 11. You might have heard this, but I want to refresh your mind, brother. Right? Get Leviticus 11, man. Get verse 7. Leviticus chapter 11. This is the book of Leviticus. Chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it out. Out in the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed. The swine, brother. Pig. Pig, right, Rick? Yet he cheweth not the cud. He doesn't properly digest his food, Rick. He is unclean to you. He is what? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to you. So the pig is unclean, brother. You know that? Yeah. All right, you know the pig is unclean. Uh, read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Right. In their carcass shall ye not touch. Right. They are right. unclean to you. All right, come on. Keep on reading. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. So now the Lord is going to tell us what we can eat from the waters. Right? You know this commandment? Yeah. All right. Shrimp, crab, crab, lobster, fish, right, scans. All right, brother. Yeah. Well, there's one commandment you're not keeping. You know what that is? What? Right. You're not keeping the Sabbath day. Right. right. And what else? What do you see brothers out here with? Fringes. The fringes, brother. So you know uh, about the fringes, right? Yeah, so I'm what sorry. you got to do, brother? Get Zephaniah 1 and 8. Right? You know what's going to happen if the Lord comes back and you don't got your fringes on, brother? It's not going to be pretty. They ain't just say all the sinners of my people are going to die by the sword. Oh. Right? Watch this. Let's turn that up. Get Zephaniah 1 and verse 8. This is the book of Zephaniah. Chapter 1. Verse number 8. And Break it out. Too, brother. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice right. that I will punish the princes and the kings and the king's children right. and all such are clothed with strange apparel. With what? With strange apparel. With what? With strange apparel. Read on. It's more than that? No. That's it. Right, brother. So if you have on strange apparel, right, the Lord is going to punish you, brother. And uh. how is he going to punish you? Then he said, all the sinners of my people are going to die by the sword. You see that? Right? So it behoove you put fringes on, brother. Right? Keep the Sabbath day. Right? Gather with brothers, like-minded men that want to serve the Lord in all righteousness and sincerity, brother, and in truth. Right? Right? Get, um, get Ecclesiastes 4, verse 6. So, be, uh, be, oh, come, come. Get Ecclesiastes 4, verse 6. Yeah, get the day to it. Can I get one of the men? Like, Hold, 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 hold
give me Colossians 3 and 17, right? Then give me Hebrews 9 and verse 15. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse number 19. Bring it out. And it says this. Repent ye therefore and be converted. What did the Lord say? Repent, repent ye therefore, therefore and, and be, be converted. converted. The Lord said repent and be converted. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. That your sins may be blotted out. Read. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So the time of refreshing is coming, brother, from the presence of the Lord. You know what the time of refreshing is? That's when the Lord is going to cleanse the earth, brother, of all wickedness. That's right. Right? Of all idolatry, all witchcraft, all lasciviousness, all lust. Right? The Lord is going to literally cleanse the earth again, brother. Not with water, but with fire. All right? So you got to repent before that time comes so you can be saved out of this thing. Bring that out. This is Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. Bring it out. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed. Whatever you do in word or deed, brother Rick. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God and the Father by him. So you gotta do it in the name of Yahweh, right? So his name wasn't Jesus because the letter J was just invented, brother, right, 500 years ago. So his name is Yahweh, right? Or Hamashiach Yahweh, which means he delivers, right? So that's our savior and our king. He's the mediator, give me Hebrews 9 and verse 15. He's the mediator between us and the Most High. Right? So everything we do in word or deed, we have to do in his name because he died so that we can be grafted back to the Father. Right? When you read Galatians, the fourth chapter. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse number 15. Bring it out. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. He is the what? He, he is, is the, the mediator, mediator of, of the, the New, New Testament. Testament. He is the mediator of the New Testament, brother. Right? Just like when you go to court, right? You have to have a mediator between yourself and the judge. That's what? That's your lawyer. So our mediator is Hamashiach Yahweh Right? So in him, we have to call on him in word and in deed. So when you pray, you pray to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shah and ask to be forgiven of your sins. Give me 1 Kings 8 and 47. Give me first. Is more on that? Oh, you good. Give me 1 Kings 8 and 47. This is 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse number 47. Bring, Bring it out. out. Yet, if they shall be thanked themselves. Right? You have to be thank yourselves, brother. You have to renew your mind. You have to remember who you are, Rick. In the land, brother, they were carried captive. Weren't we carried captive away into this land? So you got to be think yourself in the midst of all this wickedness, brother. That's right. In the land of our captivity, spiritual Sodom and Egypt, Rick. And repent. And what? And, and repent. repent. You have to repent, Rick. And make supplication unto thee. You have to make supplication unto the Lord. You got to offer your body as a living sacrifice. That's what brother's up here doing right now. Wake him up, bro. Right, give me Romans 12 and 1. Bring that up. In the land of them that that carried them captive, right. say. And this is that same land. Read. This is what we gotta say. Read. We have sinned. You gotta you gotta tell the Lord, I've sinned. You gotta call your sin by name, right? Whether it's adultery, right? Fornication. Whether you've been lusting, you gotta repent for shaving your beard off, for not wearing your fringes. You gotta repent for these things, right? Even the sins that you committed when you were in your youth, brother, mm -hmm. right? Because the, the Lord ain't, uh, winks at your ignorance, right? So you gotta repent for all of that, right? Read. And done perversely. So we have we have sinned and done perversely, Rick. We have committed wickedness. We have done what? We, we have, have committed, committed wickedness. wickedness. We have committed wickedness, brother. Right? Read on. And so return unto thee with all their heart, right? And with all their soul in the land of their enemies. Give me Ezekiel 14. Get uh get Ezekiel 14, verse 5. Read. Which led them away captive. Right, so you have to repent. Tell the Lord, we've done, I have done perversely and wickedly. Call your sins by name in the name of who, brother? Yahweh, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it. Yahweh. You got to pray to Yahweh. Say Yahweh. 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 Say it mighty, brother. Yahweh. 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 That's the name of your God, brother. Yeah. Right? And you have to pray to Yahweh in the name Yahweh Shah. All right? Say it. Yahweh Shah. You have to pray to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah. And say what? Read it again, brother. And so return unto thee right. with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, right. which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, right. which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen. Hold on. So you have to pray to the Lord toward your land, brother. Right? So when you pray, you want to pray. You know where we come from? We come from Jerusalem, brother. Finish that off, and I'm going to show you that. In the house which I have built for thy name. All right, so we got to pray. Tell the Lord we've sinned. I have done perversely and done wickedness, brother. Right? And pray towards the land. 
Give me Galatians 4 and 26. Give me Daniel um, chapter 4, I believe, and verse 10. 4 and 10 or 6 and 10? Well, that's one. We pray toward the east. Galatians 4 and 26. Bring that up. This is Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. Bring it out. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Right? Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Read. Which is the mother of us all. Which is what? Which, which is, is the, the mother, mother of, of us all. all. Jerusalem is the mother of us all, brother. Right? We're the Israelites. Right? We come from the sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? We come from Jerusalem, brother. That's your homeland. Right? You're not African. You wasn't swinging them from a tree with a bone in your lip. Right? You had law, statutes, and commandments. You were in order. Right? You literally established righteousness in the earth, brother. Right? That's your forefathers. That's your heritage. Right? King David. Right? Solomon. Right? Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Hosea, Malachi, all the mighty prophets, brother. These, this is your lineage, your heritage. Yahweh Shai, who the word ignorantly calls Christ. Right? Paul, Peter, Matthew, anybody you can name in the Bible, brother, they're Israelites. And that's your lineage. So it will behoove you to move in the spirit of your forefathers. Right? You got that? Yeah. Bring that out. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse number 10. Bring it out. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, Right. He went into his house. Right. And his windows being opened in the chamber toward Jerusalem. Toward where? Toward, toward Jerusalem. Jerusalem. So his windows were open toward Jerusalem. Read. He kneeled upon his knees. Right. Three times a day. He kneeled on his knees three times a day, brother. He made supplication to the Lord. Read. And pray. And what? And, and pray. pray. Hey, you got to kneel on your knees three times a day, brother. Right. You got to pray without ceasing, man. Right. Give me that. And uh, and uh, what's that? Uh, Second Thessalonians uh, five. I think 19. Right, read. And gave thanks before his God. And gave thanks before his God. And he did after uh, a four time. It's a lot. As he did a four time, brother. So you got to repent. Now that you know the sins you got to repent for, brother, you got to get on your knees, face Jerusalem, which is east of us, right? Because where are we? We're in the Western Hemisphere. That's right. Right? So you got to face the east, brother, right? And you got to get on your knees and say what? You got to pray to your Howard in the name of who? No, brother. Howard. Howard. Howard, name is not Yahshua. Name is Yahweh. Right? Howard, in the name of Yahweh. I have sinned and done wickedly. Right? That's right. And you gotta name your sins, brother. Right? And sincerely turn away. This is Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 22. Break it out. And it reads, For though thou wash thee with nit nit nitre and take thee much soap, right? yet Thine iniquity is marked before me. Right. Keep reading. Said the Lord God. Right. How can it say? How can it thou say, I am not polluted? I have gone. I have not gone after Balaam. Read. See thy way in the valley. Know what thou has done. Uh -huh. Thou art a swift drum, drumdery, traversing her ways. Hold that. Bring that out. This is the book of Sirach. Chapter 5, verse number 7. Bring it out. No, you said 5, right? So, right, 5 and 5. Concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. So, you don't want to be uh, not afraid to add sin to sin, brother. Right? So, we know a couple things we got to work on, all right? Mm -hmm. Right? The Lord commanded us to be perfect in Matthew 5 and 48. Right? So, don't add sin to sin. Don't keep doing what you're doing, brother. Right, if I was you, I would stop whatever the hell I was going to go do, yeah. right, turn my ass around, <laughs> go home, get on my knees, face the east, and pray to Yahweh while Yahweh shot, brother. God. Right? That's what I would do. Right? And that's what I'm telling you, brother. That's what you got to do, man. And righteousness, brother. And say, so, you know what? Let me get into my Bible. Right? Let me pull up the YouTube and watch the videos. Uh. Let me learn my history. Let me learn my heritage. What language did I speak? What garments did we wear? What lands did we inhabit? How mighty were my forefathers? These are the things we should be asking, brother, because we're destroyed for lack of knowledge. Give me that. Uh, bring that out. Watch this. And say not, his mercy is great. Right. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. Don't think the Lord is going to be pacified for the multitude of your sins, brother. Don't think he's just going to forgive you because you think you're a good person, because you're nice to people. You say, what up on the streets? The Lord ain't dealing with that. Read. For mercy and wrath come from him. Hey, mercy and wrath come from the Lord. You know the Lord has literal spirits created for vengeance? Did you know that? Yeah. You know that? Read on. And his indignation rests upon the sinners. Right? Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. What did the Lord say? Make, Make no, no tarrying to, to turn, turn to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Tarry to turn to the Lord. Brother, you know what tarrying is? It means you keep putting it off. 
right, well, I'm gonna keep the Sabbath next week. Oh man, you know, next week come and you damn forgot you didn't uh, uh, you didn't get your, your sodas for the weekend, right? You didn't you didn't stock up on groceries, right? You forgot that you wanted to go to the damn ball game on Saturday, right? Don't keep putting it off. Well, I'm gonna do it next Saturday. This ain't the this ain't the right week. Well, I'm gonna grow my beard back next week. My face itchy, right? I'm gonna put my fringes on one day, right? I'm gonna look into it one day. Don't put off day to day, brother. Read that again. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, right? And put not off from day to day. Don't put off day to day, read. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord convert forth, right? And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of his vengeance. You see that? And suddenly the wrath of the Lord is going to come forth. You know the Lord is coming like a thief in the night, brother. Yeah. Right? Give me, uh, bring that out. Can, can, I, say, can I say one thing? Go ahead, brother. Bring the it up. Same thing I said there, uh, I'll be telling the, a lot of our brothers and sisters. When that Buffalo shooting happened, right? It was on, it was on uh, the Sabbath day. Right. Can you imagine if they said they just would have kept that one commandment, they would still be here. True. But See they that? wasn't. They went out to the store to go buy, and they got gunned down. That was the Lord who sent him there. Right. And you know the Lord does all of that, brother. Right. That's not by coincidence. Right. <laughs> Bring that out. Get uh, which you holding something? Uh, no, no, no. Get Isaiah 45 and uh and seven. Bring that up. This is Second Peter chapter three and verse ten. Bring it out. But the day of the Lord. Will come as a thief in the night. As a what? As, as a, a thief, thief in the, in the night. night. Lord is coming like a thief in the night. When thieves come to your house, brother, they don't knock on the door. <laughs> they don't ask if you're still up. Brother, they, they might wait till you till you damn you sleep three in the morning, four in the morning. They've been staking your house out. Okay, I know he gotta be up at uh at, at four a.m. right because he gotta be to work at five. So I know he's in the midst of his sleep at two thirty. Hey, they gonna break in when you least expect it. The Lord's right. coming like a thief in the night, brother. Read in the witch. The heavens shall pass away right. with a great noise. The heavens going to pass away with a great noise, right? And and we know that's thermonuclear fire, brother, right? Because the Lord does his will through men. So when the Lord said this place is going to be utterly burned with fire, right? We got to look and discern the times. How is that going to happen, right? How is this place going to be burned with fire? Is fire just going to fall from the sky, right? Are the clouds just going to turn into flames? No, brother. It's going to be messed with you, right? And we can show you that in the scriptures too, brother. Read on. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The elements are going to melt with fervent heat. Everything you see is going to be melted, brother. That's, That's how hot right. it's going to be. It's going to be hot as a mug. You think it's hot today? You ain't seen nothing, brother. And Lord willing, you don't have to uh, uh, take a take, uh, taste of that death, brother. Right? Read on. The earth also in the works that are therein right. shall be burned up. It's all going to be burned up. Read on. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Read that again. Read that again. Because I want you to listen to this, brother. Seeing that all these things are going to happen. All of that, all of this is going to be dissolved. Read this. Read it again. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Right? Read. That. So like it. What manner of persons. So what manner of person, read. Ought ye to be. What manner of person ought you to be, brother? That's a question for you. What manner of person are you going to be? Are you going to remain in sin, brother? Are you going to repent and turn to the Lord and come back to your heritage as an Israelite, brother? What's it going to be, brother? Now I'm going to repent, you know what I'm saying? Give my give give with the most high. That's right. right. That's right, brother. All praises. All right? So what you got to do? See if you've been listening. <laughs> I've been listening, man. What you got to do? I'm sorry. You know I'm sorry. You, you don't, don't find that right now. You know I'm out of here, man. What you got to do? Keep the commandments, you know what I'm What's saying? What's the commandments, bro? Honor the Sabbath. Honor you know the Sabbath saying? day. How do you honor the Sabbath day? You know what I'm saying? I ain't buying, ain't trading, ain't selling, you know what I'm saying? And when does the Sabbath begin? Today, from, no, Friday, Sunday. It yeah. ends when? Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. All right? That's so right. the first That's day right. was even the evening. So right. Friday, sundown, the Saturday, sundown is the Shabbat. The Sabbath day, all right? right. So you got to keep the Sabbath. What else? Uh, my friends, bro, my friends. That's right. You gotta put on your right. fringes. Uh, stop shaving this. Stop shaving your beard. <laughs> oh, crazy, yeah. man. Oh, All right, brother. All right, yeah. All right, brother. You're an Israelite, man. Now, what was your question, brother? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've been doing my, 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 my research and okay. study, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know it's like different camps and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, I'm going to try. I, oh, I got one. I got one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to get plugged in, you know what I'm saying? Plugged in with the truth. Right, well, brother, this right. is the truth. Yeah, I know. Right, so brotherhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brotherhood. Yeah, just get plugged in. You know what I'm saying? I need to like mine, like you were saying. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like get, my, uh, get, uh, get Ecclesiastes four and six. Right. Get Hebrews thirteen and one. So where you live at, brother? Uh, Alexandria. You live in Alexandria. 
Right. You want to be around like-minded brothers, right? right? All right, well, we up here, we're part of Watchmen for Israel. Okay. All right, so our, our base camp, right, our headquarters, so to speak, is in Baltimore. That's the main camp. But we're Watchmen for Israel, Virginia. Now, we're down there in the 757 area. You know where that is? Yeah, that's right. Right, that's Norfolk, beach. Virginia Beach, right? right but right, we do right. have a brother up here, right, that we build with, right? This brother right here, right? Okay. This brother lives up here. Okay. Right, and we come up here and we build with this brother from time to time and he comes down there and he builds with us Right, so this is the brother you need to get with uh. Right, this brother can answer your questions. He's 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 thorough in the scriptures, right? That's and you right. know, and you got to be around brothers. Bring that up. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 6 Bring and it out. Out. Better is in handful with quietness than both the hands Hey, get that though. Get a faithful friend is a strong defense. Uh, you gotta be on it. Well, I gotta sit there in Hebrews 13 1. You can bring that out. You wanna bring Hebrews now? Nah, I want you to hold that. Get that in, uh, in uh, Ecclesiastes. Faithful friend is a strong defense. Oh, it's verse 9. Right, verse 9. There you go. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 9. Bring, bring it out. out. Two are better than one. What did the Lord say? Two, two are, are better, better than, than one. one. So two are better than one, right? Because they have a good reward for their labor. You got a good reward for your labor, right? For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. Right. But woe to him that is alone. But woe to him that is alone, meaning destruction. So if you fall, brother, you have a brother here to lift you up. Hey, brother, you know we can't be doing that. Right, hey brother, you know today's the Sabbath day. You know tomorrow's the new moon. You know we got the feast of dedication coming up. Hey, you can't be looking at our sisters like that. Right, you have a brother to live with. What when you fall, brother? Right, that's the that's brotherhood. Brother. That's what the Lord wants from us, right? Uh, you know. So like he says, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. Right, but woe but woe to him that is alone. Woe to him that is alone, read. Right? When he falleth. For he have not another to help him up. Right, you by yourself in this thing. You kind of doing what the hell you want to do, man. You need a brother that's going to get on you in righteousness, brother. Right, because uh, that's a commandment pursuing in Leviticus 19. That's you right. You rebuke your brother and not suffer sin upon him. And that's what we're doing out here. I'm going to bring that out for you next. Read. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? Right, brother. So you want to keep that fire burning in you. You want to keep that zeal for the most high. But if you by yourself and you just lean to your own understanding, right, hey, you're going to do what you want to do. And that fire is going to slowly burn down. You're going to keep coming out here, breaking the Sabbath, right, keep doing what you want to do. And eventually, you don't even want to learn about the Lord no more. Because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't add it sin unto sin, right, concerning propitiation, brother. You didn't put off day to day, and now you don't care anymore. Now you're, now you're content with the things of this world, right? And you don't want that to happen to you, brother. So you got to get with like-minded brothers. So before you leave, you plug you in with this brother, all right? But make sure you get his information and he gets yours. Bring that up. This is the book of Sirach, yeah, chapter 6. Yeah. Chapter 6, verse number 14. Bring it out. A faithful friend is a strong defense. A what? A faithful friend is a strong defense. What did the Lord say? A faithful friend is a strong defense. So a faithful friend is a strong defense. Against what, brother? Against he evil. Has, Hold on. Against evil, right? Against the things of this world, against wickedness, against your own mind. You might be feeling down and need a brother to lift you up, right? Sometimes you might get faint, right? And that's why you got to have brothers in this thing, right? Read on. And he that hath found such as one hath found a treasure. Right? And if you find a faithful friend, you find a treasure, brother. It's not, it's not easy to find faithful friends in this thing. How many of these people walking around do you think want to sincerely serve the Lord? Right? Dude. How many of these people you think want to serve the Lord? It's very few, right? Very few. Very few. That's why the Lord said two thirds of our people are going to die by the sword. That's when right. You read Zechariah the eleventh chapter because they don't want to serve the Lord, brother. So that means more of us are going to die than are going to be saved. And the scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be saved, brother. So if the righteous are going to scarcely be saved, how much more the people that don't give a damn about the Most High God? You see what I'm saying? So it would behoove us, brother, to come back to the Lord in these last days, right? That's and that's the fear of the Lord, because you don't want to taste of the Lord's the Lord's woe, the Lord's destruction. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. What you holding? Leviticus 19. Bring that out. This is the book of Leviticus, 
chapter 19, right. verse number 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You can't hate your brother in your heart, read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So you have to rebuke your neighbor. Your brother is your neighbor. That's how you don't hate him, right? So if you don't hate your brother, you have to what your brother? You. No, no. If you don't hate, so what's the opposite of hate? Yeah, I love your brother. Love. So if you I don't hate you. your brother, you gotta love your brother. That's so this right. Is the Lord teaching us how to love. Right. Right. So we gotta separate from our enemies in the, in these last days, man. Because our enemies got us walking around not knowing who the hell we are, thinking we just niggas, we just African Americans. Right. The hell is an African American? True. How are you two continents? Yeah. How the hell are you two continents? <laughs> Wait, come on, Bob. Right. Yeah. Does that even make sense? Yeah. Right. And they're named after. Yeah. What is Africa named after? Leo Scipius Africanus. Uh -huh. Right. He was a he was a general that conquered Hannibal in the Second Punic Wars. You know about that? I heard about it. You heard about it, right? So we're calling ourselves after the name of a so-called white man. That's right. Africanus. What about America? It's named after Amerigo Vespucci, yeah. an Italian cartographer who circumnavigated the Americas, North and South. So they named it after him. Do you come from two white men? No. So why the hell are we calling ourselves African American? Right? Uh Give me Hosea four and six, man. Right? Give me Romans thirteen and eleven, man. No, no. Right? It's time for our people to wake up, brother. We got to wake up. We got to uncover the veil and realize who our enemies are. Right? Too long have we been in Babylon, brother. Put to sleep. Rock to sleep by the rules of this society. Bring that up. The soul is there. Chapter 4 and verse 6. Bring it out. Oh. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What did the Lord say? My, My people are destroyed, destroyed for a lack of knowledge. knowledge. Look around, brother. Look at all these people breaking the Sabbath day. That's right. Look at all these women half naked, brother. That's right. right. Look at all these men dressed as women. All these women dressed as men. Look at these things, brother. Our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They have no knowledge of the Most High, right? Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the Lord said, because we reject knowledge, he's going to reject us in these last days, right? That thou shall be no priest to me. Right. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. And our people forgot the laws of, the, of their of their God, brother. Right? That's what we out here destroyed. Because the Lord rejected us. We forgot his law. We said we don't want to do that. That's contrary to us. We walk contrary to the Lord. Because we like, hey man, our people like eating pork. Shrimp, crab, lobster. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Our women like wearing damn body suits. And damn uh, uh, wicked ass sundresses, man. They hate dressing modest. Uh -huh. Right? They love usurping authority over men. That's right. Right? Our people love wickedness, brother. Right? Bring that out what you're holding your shark. This is the book of Romans. Chapter 14. You said 11, 13 right? and 11. 13 and 11. Right? This is the book of Romans. Chapter 13. Verse number 11. Bring right. it out. And that, knowing the time, that now is high time to wake out of sleep. To what? To, to awake wake out of sleep. sleep. To what? To, to awake, wake out, out of sleep. sleep. Read. For now is our salvation nearer than we than when we believe. Our salvation is nearer than you believe, brother. The Lord's coming like a thief in the night. No That's man right. knows the day nor the hour, but our Father which is in heaven, right? So we gotta keep these commandments, because if he came back today, what's gonna happen? A lot of us gonna be destroyed, brother, because we gonna be found in contempt of the law, right? Con, con, con. So we gonna be, because we gonna be found in contempt of the law, brother, right? So we gotta come back to the Lord. Give me, uh, give me Romans 10 and verse two. Then you give me Romans 12 and two. Give me Romans 10 and 2 first. This is the book of Romans, right. chapter 10, verse go, number 2. Yeah. All right, brother, what you about to go do, brother? You got somewhere to be. What more? What, what better place to be on a Sabbath day, brother? <laughs> what better place do you have to be, brother? Not that's so, a business. Take what care. business, brother? I got, I got Come on, brother. No, 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 no. You know, you know I'm already shocked. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm hit with it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I'm going to get back home. I'm going I'm to link with I'm going to link with my brother over here. I'm going to exchange the information here. Let me give you this is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse number 16. Bring it out. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So the Spirit itself has to bear witness, brother. Right? The Lord says separate from your enemies. That's right. If the Spirit not bearing witness with the people you're around, brother, you got to separate. That's right. Because they're enemies of the Most High. If every time you talk about the oppressor and the things he did to you, and how and how the Lord hates them, right? And they get mad. Hey, brother, you gotta separate, brother. Uh, that's the spirit right. Not bearing witness, brother. Uh. All right, all right, brother. So you got the flyer. Yes, sir. You get this brother's information, man. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Do that right now, yeah, brother. Yeah, I appreciate Come on, brother. Man, I appreciate y'all, brother. All right, brother. Lock me in. See that? Hey, man. Now people waking up.